Doug in the building. What's going on, man? Not much, man. I was calling you. I, I was just a little about me. I'm the type. I don't like to message like, you know, back and forth. A lot of times when you, when people send messages, mm -hmm. it get misconstrued. Mm -hmm. I just like it's always better to verbally talk. That way, you know, everything is, is understood, you know, at that time instead of things getting misconstrued. Well, you know what? I, I agree with you on that part all the way around the corner, man, because, like, you know, this is a little bit off topic, but like for like in the dating scene how you know you just said you was married but you know i'm in the dating scene and a lot of and a lot of females that you know that i that i be rapping with they like the text you know they like the yeah women they, women yeah yeah they they like they like the text like you know i'm from the old school i'm like you know i i, I like to verbally say what i have to say you know so that we won't so that we will have a good understanding on what's being said because it's a lot right like testing it's a lot it, it it's a lot that can be misconstrued in testing you know they'll they'll try to test something and then you look at it like and then you try to test back like what do you mean and then they test back and it just get all discombobulated and shit so but yeah that's yeah. the same yeah, but that's I mean but that's the same thing in, in, in communications too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can be, you can, you can be, you know, a, 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 you know, a funny person and everything, but when you're doing through text, can't nobody, you don't notice that, you know? Right. Text, text, and texting and all that, it just changes the game. Exactly. Exactly. I, I agree with you 100% on that one, man. So, all right, so go ahead and uh go go ahead and uh, tell, uh finish telling us a little bit about yourself. How well? Let me. Uh, how long? How long have you been driving? I've been driving like 20, 20 years now. I've been driving since two thousand and one. Oh, okay. So you so you so you a millennial driver? Well, and and yeah. Hey, don't listen. Don't don't take that the wrong way because like. A lot of cats that be coming in, that be coming in, and they say they've been driving for like ten years, you know, twenty years. But it depends on when did they start driving, because now this is twenty twenty one. So if you started driving in twenty, right. I mean, in two thousand, then yeah, that's twenty years. You you know you, I, I call that like millennial driving because of the fact that you pretty much came in when shit was already. Uh, shit was already in place. E laws, automatic transmissions. Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying. I came in right when everything was transitioning. Right when everything was transitioning over. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You know, so when when drivers that come in talking about their old school drivers, I'd be like, well, no, well, when did you start? Oh, I started in you know 2020. Uh, not I mean started in 2000, 2001. Nah, 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 nah. Old, old, old school drivers is like, nah, I know, it's like yeah. 70s. I ain't no old school driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's I'm like 70s, you know, the drivers that, that was still running e-law, I mean, not e-laws, but still running law, paper laws, you know, some of them, you know, that's still running the, the manuals, you know. So, yeah, man. So, so, yeah. 20, so 20 years in the game. So, you've seen... So you seen a lot as far as the new technology that was coming into the game, right? As far as uh yeah. automatics coming in, e laws coming in. What um did you decide when you decided to come in the game back back in two thousand, did you did you go through school or did you go through a uh did you go through a company? I went through uh Steven Transport. I did the whole deal with Steven. Oh, okay, okay. What was your What was your experience? You don't have to go into too much detail, but you know, just give us a quick, a uh, quick sur summary of of what what was Stevens was was about when you when you went through their training and and and, and worked for them. Stevens, Stevens. I, I, I mean, I might I could some people could say I'm biased because I went there, but looking at YouTube and seeing how all the other companies how their schools go and, uh, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Stevens, by far, I think, have one of the strongest 
training schools out because because of their expectations and what they expect you to do. Mm-hmm. And then they stand strong on their on faith. Okay, that's. I mean, any little, any little thing you any little thing you do, they will route you back to the yard, and, and we used to call it serving time mm-hmm. because you got to go back to the yard. You got to be retrained for, for three or four days. You got to take watch videos. I mean, any little thing you do. And I and then when I started, you had to do six months after you got your trainer's truck. You had to do six months without jake break. Yeah, you had to do six months without what now? Without Jake break. You had to do six months without Jake break. Without Jake break, so you, when you, and, and they when you so in other words, when you descend the mountains like the Donners and the Cabbage. Yeah. And those, the mountains like that, yeah. you had to do it with no jake break. Oh, okay. So you had to do the stab technique going down you going down there. That's what they wanted yeah, you they to train, do. Yeah, they trained you. The average driver that completed Stevens, they knew how to descend those mountains without jake break, without smoking a break. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's then, up. You have to get, uh, when you out, you out, you was out five weeks, four to five weeks, but you had to get uh, all four corners of the map. You had to get as far northwest as or as uh California. Uh, I think it was I think it was Florida, and then uh oh, as uh Pennsylvania. Oh, there you go. All right, so they want so Stevens want 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 to get you you. You went out there by yourself, or you you went out there with a trainer to to do all, you know, to do the southeast, the northwest, the northeast, and the and the southwest. You had to do it with a trainer. Okay, okay. So was those particular areas that they that they sent you to all the time, or you just you just had to go and do it with a trainer just to get the experience? You in the five week period, uh, you're basically all over the map. Mm-hmm. But it's up to your trainer to make sure that you get those corners in. Oh, okay, okay. So your train, so, like with me, mm-hmm. when I got to the like my fifth week, I had everything but my northeast. Oh. So they sent us all the way back to Dallas, and then they sent us because I was missing my northeast. They had to send me back out with my trainer to go get to the Northeast, which took me back out another two weeks. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I, no, so yeah. my trainer was like seven weeks. Yeah, cornered like, you know, up in up in the up in the uh up in the I think uh south or like up in the top over there by Seattle, you know, the Dakotas yeah. and shit like that. You know, I you know I I have yet to touch uh you know Washington State yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have yet right. to touch uh you know Nevada, but I I touch you know I touch a lot of other states that I that I drove through. You know I've been you know so far I haven't hit you know I haven't touched no serious mountains like you know like the ones you just mentioned like Donner and. And the rest of them, you know, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't touched that. Does that make me not be a truck driver? I don't know. No, but. <laughs> no. It don't, in my opinion, no, it don't make you not be a truck driver. It just makes you where, uh, I'm not for say saying you, because you, you can not do it. Mm-hmm. It's off rip, you know, but, but with some drivers, it will make it to where they don't know how to descend certain mountains. If right. They didn't have a check break. Right, 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 right. And, like, and also, and also, you had to get either two major. They get, you have a, a book that has all the mountains in it. Uh huh. And you have to get, you have to have either two major mountains in your training that you descended the mountain while you were driving, mm-hmm. or four, four minor mountains. Oh, okay. But okay. they preferred you to. But they 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 preferred you to do the two major mountains. All right. So did you complete? So did you complete your obligations with Stevens as far as your as far as your CDL go? Yes, I, I completed my. It was two years back then. I completed the whole two years there. Oh damn! It was two years with Stevens. It was two years. Yeah. Ugh. 
Man. The, the pad that came in the very next year, it changed to a year. Oh, okay. I'm uh, like, what? Uh, that's, <laughs> Did I get a year there? Uh, that's, that's, that's ugly two years for uh, for obligation. Yeah. Woo. All right. So, uh, so throughout your 20 years, uh, uh, you know, you, you with a different company now. So throughout your 20 years, you, you've been with, uh, you've been with several companies. Um, so let's, uh, let's catch up to, uh, let's catch up to the topic then. You, you you know, I, I always mention, you know, always ask the question if, if there's any W2 companies out here that where, where people can, 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 you know, make six figures from, and you're at such company. What, what's the what's what's that company, right quick? S Express Line. It's spell that. LTL. Spell that right quick. E S T. E S. I did an interview with the recorder. E S T. E E S. E S T. E S. Yes, Express Line. S this. Okay, yeah, the L T L. Okay, so. Let, let me let me see if I can get this right. Like LTL, right? That's a uh, limit. What is it? Truck. I know less, I, truck load. less less than less than truckload, right? Less truckload. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's the type of company that uh that they load like multiple stops on you, right? Right. Okay. Okay. So with that said, you you get miles. As well as as the stops, right? I get miles. I don't get the stop. Well, well, I get I get miles. Uh huh. So if I work like the turn like the docks or anything like that, you get hourly pay. Okay. And then you also then you also get breaking the hook like you break your set and hook your set. Okay. You get paid for that as well. So you might you might have like twenty dollars. On top of your mileage, uh, okay. Or more on top of your on top of your mileage thing. Okay. How long How long you been driving for them? I've been here six years. Oh, you've been... been doing LTL about about twelve years. Okay. Okay. So, with Estes, man, tell us uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Estes from a driver's point of view, man. I think Estes. It's a, it's a good company. They they are, they are more of a lazy company. They they hire you to retire you. They don't like they they have a very low turnover rating. Uh, they drivers very seldom will quit. Most time when drivers separate from here, it's either because they retired or they they got fired. But you might hear some drivers say they gonna quit or go somewhere else. But the majority of them don't end up doing that because it's hard to match what you what what they're paying. So the the average OTR company, if like now, I'm seventy seventy four fifty a mile, and that's just the mile. That's no that's that's without incentives or anything like that. That's the minimum. That's the the least amount I'll be paid per mile, no matter what I do. And then with all these other other perks that they give you, it's hard to match it out here. The average company, if they pay in anywhere near seventy, that's a ten ninety nine company. Which means it all they're giving you is that seventy cent and that's it. You're not getting sick pay, holiday pay, uh insurance, all they're giving you is that seventy cent a mile, that's it. But here they're giving you uh, like me, they give me seventy four fifty plus all the insurance and everything that goes with it. You know? Wait, 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 wait. How, how how much they how much they giving you a mile? I'm seventy four, and then as of January, we get a cost of living every January, so I probably go up another two two cents plus per mile. So you getting so you getting seventy four cent a mile with them? Just straight That's straight sev straight seventy four. No no uh. No, no, you know, nothing on top of anything like that. Just straight seventy four. What? How much? Well, you. Well, again, you. You've been there for six years. So, how much? How much did you start when you came in? When I started, uh, it was uh, the start pay was fifty eight. Okay. 
but now now coming in the gate, you start paying sixty eight, sixty eight. Okay, okay. So you coming in, you coming in, and then uh, you get a you get a raise every uh, six months. Okay. And then at three years, you'll be at the cap. But your raises come so fast that it's like within a year period, you you are you are seventy cent already. So what's the so so what's the cap on? The cap is seventy four fifty right now. Oh, okay, so you so you at the cap? Yeah, I'm at the cap. Oh man, okay, okay, okay. So coming in, so coming in the gate is is. Let me make sure I understand this. Coming in the gate is fifty eight. Sixty eight. Oh, sixty eight. Six eight. Coming into the gate. Yeah. Do you yeah. have to have uh? Do yeah, you? Come in. Do you? I know you guys is driving. Uh, do you guys also do doubles over there? Y'all do doubles and triples. Yeah, we do doubles and triples. Okay, so you have to come in with uh with your doubles and triples endorsement. What about your hazmat? So you got to come in with your doubles and triples, your hazmat, and your tankers. Oh, you got to come in. Oh, you got to come in with all three of them. But yeah, you're, but you're not a tank. Uh, wait, but y'all 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 carry tanker like products. Yeah, we might have totes that has liquid in it. Mm -hmm. And those tank, those tank those totes are considered like a tanker. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So okay, so coming in, so so for starters, uh, definitely come in with your with with all three of your endorsements: the tankers, hazmat, and the doubles and triples. So, saying that, saying that is 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 where the where where the money can can uh can increase with with that as well. What about uh? Do you get paid more for carrying uh uh hazmat material, or or is it just all of the same in your in your cent per mile? It's, well, the way they the way they look at it, because they pay above market, mm -hmm. that they pay you whether you got hazmat or not, mm -hmm. that same rate. So when you do full hazmat, it's all the same because they 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 paying you above market right. even if you're not even putting the hazmat. Okay, okay, that's that's what's up. So seventy four. So you, so on average, um, on average, how much can a person? Uh, bring home gross you know give us a ballpark we we looking that close to yeah, we looking that close to two thousand dollars a week right no it's a, if you uh i know you, you knew uh bray hall at 78 they work at essence mm -hmm. he showed uh his pay stub when he was uh because yeah he showed his pay stub and he was showing several pay stubs where there was like 2600 2700 Point like that, like me, I average like twenty three, twenty three and above a week. All right, that's uh, that's, that's two, that's two, four, six, eight. That's about eight grand a month, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some some months I grow, some months I gross eleven grand. Man, it ain't it ain't bad. So yeah, that yeah, I, yeah. I I could see I I could see a hundred uh I could see a hundred k with that. Yeah, he uh he showed his uh like I said he showed all his pay stuff to, from the lows to the for for like the whole year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so the, the the truth is in the pudding. He he showed it. Then we had another a uh, local driver that showed his pay. Mm -hmm. And that's that's pretty much what it is uh, with the average driver. If you're not making a hundred thousand dollars a year. As, as a line haul driver, it's because you're taking a low run, and you just don't want don't want it like that. You just want enough to pay your bills, mm -hmm. or you just or you're doing something wrong. Mm. So, but the average driver. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Average driver. The, the average driver that's doing what that's that's doing at least twenty five hundred miles a week, twenty four or twenty five hundred miles a week, you're gonna see at least a twenty one hundred dollar growth. Man, and that's and, and this and this is an LTL company. Now let me ask you this: Do you do you think like 
you know, companies like Estes, you know, being the LTL company, do you, in your opinion, do you think you see more money with them than, uh, you know, the regular uh, mega, uh, the regular carriers that just do, you know, that just do truckload freight? Yeah, my opinion, because I've been OTR lead on the rock throughout my whole career, so I, I did a little bit of all of it. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, where we at right now, the average OTR company can't match it. Mm. The average OTR, the way LTL work, like with Estes and Saya and Old Dominion, they want their drivers to make money. They want their drivers to be happy. Mm-hmm. So they they constantly throw them, like Estes constantly throw them, extra money at you, you know, okay, if you run this weekend, we give you additional hundred dollars. Like let's say for like, uh, we get paid eight holidays. Mm-hmm. So let's say Christmas, like, well, Thanksgiving, like we get Thanksgiving, we get paid for Thanksgiving and we get paid for a black Friday. Right. And, and you're considered off. If you want, you consider off for both days. Okay. But if you work like last year, if you work, you get paid for the holiday, which is two fifty each day, for the holiday, and then you get paid your mileage, which I average about five hundred a day. I guess if I do six hundred miles or more, I average about five hundred dollars a day. So if you put the two fifty on top of the five hundred, plus they was getting us additional hundred dollars uh, a day just for working those two holidays. Oh, okay. So you're looking at about eight hundred dollars just for that one day. Okay, that's what's up. Now, being that so you work both holidays, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you work both holidays. You look at that seven hundred, seven fifty for for once per day plus plus that hundred dollars, so fifteen hundred dollars just for those two days. Wow. Okay, that's what's up. That's that's what's up, man. All right. So, with Estes being the way that Estes is now, that they want you to come in. They wanna they wanna hire you to retire you. Now, this is the type of company that's just that's that's absolutely looking for good candidates, right? So yeah. what's yeah. what what's their criteria for coming in for coming in to uh to drive for them? Clean driving record, you know, uh no no uh drug refusals. I mean no I mean I'm sorry, no Drug test re or refusals or, right. uh, or, or alcohol, no DUIs. Over, I don't know if it's three years or four years, but I know it's, it's at least three years that you cannot have a had a refusal or uh, or fail the drug a uh, drug test or 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 DUI. And then, of course, your uh, uh, CSA you have to have a clean CSA. Mm -hmm. you know, they they want they look at safety across the board. But when well, all jokes aside, they're not as hard to get on as people think they are. Okay. They're, they're probably like one of the easiest of the LTLs to get in with. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's it what's might, up. It might take it might take six weeks or so to get in, but they they are they they pretty fair on hiring. All right. So long as your long as your long as your everything checks out, they're pretty fair on hiring. So what about uh what what about their drug? You mentioned the drug test. What what is it? Hair follicles or 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 uh urine or well, both? What I know so far is just hair, just just uh urine. Oh, okay. All right. So do they have cameras in they in they trucks? Outer, just facing the outside. All right. Now since you've been with them for six years, I'm I'm sure you have probably got like multiple trucks, but. Uh, what what do they got? What do they got on fleet? Uh, automatics, manuals, or what? Both. They got automatics and manuals. They've been they they are catching up on the automatic. Mm -hmm. But they got they got both. All uh, right. You, you need to have you need to have your be able to uh, operate manual because like if your truck breaks down, the only truck that might be available for you to drive probably is a night. Okay, so they want. So is they gonna is they gonna train when when you go out? You know when they do the road tests and all like that. They they gonna road test you in the manual or 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 what's whatever's available. All right, whatever's available. 
Oh, okay. I don't just go look and say, let's get a manual. It's like, well, whatever it's about. But they want you, but they, they want you to be real versed in a manual, though. Yeah, they want you to be both ways, yeah. All right. So how so you you've been working out there for six years, man, making about making about a hundred K. What what's your feelings? Uh, how how you feel about working there, man? I mean it sounds it sounds oh, like it. It, it sounds like you're not going nowhere. Uh, they had to push me out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, like I I've had people ask me, um, why you ain't a uh, owner rock or why you not leasing? And I talked to several owner ops. You know, I have several owner ops in my family. Right. And when I talk to them, and they tell them, and they being truthful, and they telling me what they're bringing in and what they averaging after they after all their expense, I'm bringing in more than they are. <laughs> so wow. it's like it's pointless. Like they told me, man, it's yeah. pointless. Yeah, it is. Where you at? Where you at right now? You're where most drivers want to be. So exactly. I, I where hear, you at right now, it's pointless to go on a rock or I, I hear uh, companies like Old Dominion, Estes, uh, you, of course, UPS and FedEx are, are the companies that 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 drivers, you know, that that that's the companies that they want to get to. You know, they want to make sure they yeah. get all their they yeah. want to make sure they get all the experience up so they can get the companies like that i mean i think for for the most part you know the company i drive for is an ltl company as well but um anyway, i mean i could I, i'm not even making i i could be honest with you I, I i say i do about at least 90 a year you know i'm trying to hit that i'm trying to hit that 100k myself but <laughs> you know what i'm saying but wow yeah. coming in you know coming in at Coming in at 60, 68 cent a mile right off the rip, and then you can cap out at about seventy something in about a year or two. That's 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 not bad as a and company as a company driver on W two. That ain't bad. Right, and that's and that's for today. Uh, every year in January, we get we get a, a cost of living raise. Uh huh. So, like this January, we'll probably get like anywhere from two cent plus. Raise and we get a raise every January. Okay, okay, that's what's up, man. So in so your, we'll probably be. Oh, go ahead. We'll probably be seventy-seven above. Anywhere from seventy-seven cents a mile and above, probably as of January. Wow. So with all that said, is there still any best parts to this job of working there, man? Say any best parts? Yeah. I mean, we, we already uh, I, you you already said that the, the, the you guys get a cost of living raise every January. Uh, you come in at sixty eight cent a mile. Uh, you, you get paid for the holidays. I mean, I, I should rephrase. I should rephrase that because that sounds like all the best. What what are the cons, man? What you you saying all this good stuff right here, man? But. What what are the cons, man? What 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 is the what is some parts about about working there that stress you out, man? I'll, it got to be something. It, all, all this all this great milk is 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 is, 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 is it, it it got to be some sour milk in there somewhere, man. Uh, to be honest, it's more to me. It's more cons than anything. Uh, I don't really have anything that really stresses me out. One of, one of the things. Uh, that could stress you out at times that, that make you feel a sort of kind of way. is like, let's say you're an extra board driver. Uh-huh. Uh, extra board, you out five days. Uh, but, you know, and you might want you, in this particular week, you might want to be home or something like that. You know, but you're out five days and you're home, you got two days off. You're off on the weekends. But it depends on what day you start because they got several days of the week that you start. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they have, of course, they have the uh, uh, bid drivers that's home every day. Okay. You know, and they're making the money that I told you that we make. Yeah. They're making that same thing, being home every day. And, and, and they kind of make it to where you could wish or want to be in that position to where, hey, if they're making pretty much the same thing I'm making, why can't I be home every day like that? If but you- it's like here, it's like you got to, 
you do you have to do you do, does it go by like seniority in order to get uh seniority. Get, get get positions like that so when i come in so let's say when i come in i fill out the application they get me on board 